The Korean government is planning new measures to attract more foreign tourists. The move includes investing in tourism infrastructure and expanding language services at the tourism call center. It comes with just over 50 days to go until the curtain comes up on the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics. Our Ji Myung-gil has more. Prime Minister Lee nak emphasized that half of Korea's 52 million population traveled abroad this year, citing massive tourism deficits. It is for certain that Korea will once again achieve its worst ever tourism deficit of 12 billion U.S. dollars this year. During Tuesday's government meeting, the prime minister noted that Japan has had a tourism surplus for four consecutive years, hitting a record of an estimated $13 billion this year. To try and boost tourism, Korea plans to issue temporary visa waivers for citizens from Southeast Asia. Expand language services at the tourism call center number 1330, add more high value tour programs, and make Korea's tourist attractions bigger over the next five years. The Prime Minister also urged Koreans to choose domestic tourist spots as destinations for their vacation. If we can make our citizens opt for domestic travel instead of going overseas, it will greatly help revitalize the domestic tourism industry. The government plans to develop new tourist attractions in connection with Hallyu, the Korean wave of popular culture, and the 2018 PyeongChang Winter Olympics. It also plans to expand areas of medical treatment tours and increase facilities for domestic cruise tours to increase the number of foreign tourists from beyond China, such as from Southeast Asia, the Middle East, and Japan. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.